welcome back to my channel. Two easy sewing projects in this video. I'm gonna put timestamps as well. So if you wanna to skip to either project, the first one is, as promised, a little curtain, cause if you watch my video a couple of, not even weeks ago, I think it was like a couple of videos back, I had my teeny tiny laundry nook refresh, what we call it, a makeover. I just gave it a little luge. And I said I was going to try and sew a little curtain to go over the washing machine. So I did that as promised. And I also have some drawstring bags. Both these projects, perfect for beginners. Easy enough, and I'd say they take you, the drawstring bag is quicker to make. You're looking at about half an hour there. And then the curtain, probably about an hour. Uh, but if you're like more advanced, you'd probably make it quicker. If you are new to my channel, you know the drill. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Check out my recent videos if you like what you see, then welcome to the community. At the end of the video, I will share a link to some other sewing projects if you do want to dust off the cobwebs on the machine but let's get straight into this video enjoy for the first project I am going to be taking an old bed sheet the good old fitted bed sheet and I'm going to use the fabric from this bed sheet to make a curtain to sit over my washing machine to make a curtain you are going to need one of these curtain rod thingamajiggies don't know the name but I will link to one in the description it was only a couple of euros now if you're using recycled fabric give it a wash before you use it and give it a good iron because it's probably going to be quite wrinkly here is the corner that I am going to be making my curtain for I will link to the video where I was doing my little mini laundry nook kind of makeover and I said that I was going to make a curtain just to hide the washing machine I am taking measurements for the width and the length and I added some extra inches for the tunnel at the top and for my hem and the seam allowance on either side and the bottom I will put the dimensions to my curtain but it's obviously going to be different depending on where you're going to put yours so just measure across for the width add on an inch or two for your seam allowance measure the length and then add on extra for the tunnel on the top so I am just putting my measurements onto the fabric and then I'm giving it a cut. The hardest part of this project is just working with a lot of fabric. So if you are a beginner and this is your first time to make something a little bit bigger, it can get a bit frustrating, <laughs> I suppose, having lots of fabric, but just take your time and the cutting is probably the most important. So once you have everything cut, you can then hem the side seams first. So I'm just doing a hem, so I'm folding over the raw edge and then I'm folding it over again on top of itself and I'm doing a straight stitch down either side. So to start with, do your side seams. So to make the tunnel on the top for the wire, the curtain wire to go through, you're just gonna fold it over. Now I'm using the existing hem that was on the bed sheet. You are gonna have to fold over the raw edge and then fold that again so that the raw edge is tucked in. But I use the existing hem, so I kinda cheated a little bit just to save me some time. So I'm just folding it over. As you can see, the hem there is already hemmed. You would have to fold that over if you didn't already have a hem on the fabric that you're using so like if you're using recycled fabric um, or if you're using normal cotton you're not going to have a hem on it so I'm doing a straight stitch all the way down just following that folded line and then that is going to give us a tunnel once that is in I will give it one little measure against the washing machine just to make sure that you know the width is good do I need to you know take anything off and then I'm going to hem the bottom so last thing you're going to do before we stick this on is hem the bottom I am using a wire cutter to cut my, I'm calling it a curtain rod, but I'm sure there's a 
proper name for it um, but you get these little twisty hooks for the end and don't worry you can still adjust this so I put mine on and as you can see when I put it against the washing machine I had a big droop so that's okay just tighten it so just take your wire off cut it there's a little tiny bit of stretch in it stick the hooks back on and also I have two little nails so there's a nail on the left and a nail on the right in the wood that I hook on the curtain rod hook too so have a little play around with this and then you're good to go Let's make a book bag. So I'm actually just making a drawstring bag. I'm using it to pop books in as gifts. However, these are perfect for if you have, if you're going like to the gym, if you're traveling, or if you want to pop like runners and things inside. So you're going to have two pieces of fabric and I'll put the dimensions of mine in the description box. And you're going to measure down equal on either side, three inches. Again, pop the measurements in the description because you're going to stitch all of the three sides so side left side bottom and right side but you're gonna stop and you're going to leave some fabric on the top because we are going to fold this down to make a tunnel for our drawstring So now for the kind of fiddly bit, we're going to do teeny tiny hems on all four of these pieces of fabric. So we're going to do hems so that when we fold this over, we have a nice tunnel and all of the raw edges of the fabric is going to be like stitched in. So you're not going to get any kind of like whispers, whispers, whiskers of fabric as I like to call it so those raw edges so fold it in once fold it in again I'm just popping in a pin and I'm going to straight stitch all four of these pieces of fabric the tunnels and then we are going to fold them over which you're going to see next So now we're going to work on the top. So I'm folding over another teeny tiny hem again, folding over, folding over again, folding it in half onto, I hope it makes sense how I'm explaining this. And this is going to be our tunnel. So use your iron, your iron will hold all of these kind of like hems into place and then use your pins as well. And take your time doing this because you want this to be like nice and neat because this is where your drawstring is going to be going through. So you're gonna do it on this side and then we're gonna turn it over and do it on the other side. So teeny tiny hem on top and then you're going to fold it over and then you're going to pin it in place so if you saw my earlier project where I was making the curtain we are just making that hem that we are then going to be folding over and then you're going to do a straight stitch down the side of both of them and then we will have made our tunnels and next step is to pop through your cord or whatever you want to use for the drawstring
just using my scalloped edge shears, like a pinking shears, only mine is scalloped edge, just for the raw edges, but you can finish off the seam if you have like an overlocker or you could do a zigzag stitch and I'm just cutting off any excess, just tidying it up basically, any excess fabric or whiskers and I just clip the corners as well. So give it a good iron, turn it the right way out and we are going to pop through the drawstring. I am using some faux leather, it's like a strip of faux leather that I had in my stash and I'm going to pop it through, you'll see now, so you put, you have two pieces, so if you're using like cord or leather or whatever it is, you have two pieces. Now, you, it's best to use a safety pin to push your fabric or your ribbon through the tunnel. I just could not find a safety pin, but thankfully this leather was nice and stiff. Sorry, this faux leather was nice and stiff and I was able to put it through handy enough. So you'll see that I put it through one side. So I go in on the left, I go around and I come back out on the left and I tie a knot. Then I start on the opposite side. So I go in on the right, around, through the left and back out on the right and then I tie a knot in the end and there you're going to have your two pieces of your drawstring and you just pull them and you have your bag made. If you want more sewing projects, scrap fabric, beginner friendly, that you can kind of do like handy enough, half an hour jobby, I'll link to a compilation video that I did, I think last year I put all together like 10 sewing projects, perfect for beginners, you've got like scrunchies, things like that and then I have a sewing playlist as well so if you want to check that out, I think I did another sewing video maybe back around February, March. Um, with some small projects so I'll link to that as well so lots more sewing goodness I'll pop links in the description and I'll put the cards and stuff here so that's me for this week I'm, I'm going out now to try and film a garden video but it's absolutely lashing outside <laughs> so I'm like hmm maybe I'll edit this video instead anyway I hope you're all having a lovely week I will see you in Sunday's garden video so I hope you enjoy see you later